I have several stories about how the cutting edge molecular analysis, this precision oncology, has radically altered a patient's prognosis. The most extreme example was a young man who was in his late 40s who had already developed advanced metastatic prostate cancer. He had been on multiple clinical trials and he was so sick and he was going into hospice. And I had begged the family, please let's get a genetic analysis. And they eventually finally were willing to have a genetic analysis performed. And literally, as the ambulance was taking him from a skilled nursing facility to an inpatient hospice, I got the result from his genetics and the light bulb went, went off. And I was able to get him a drug. And in two months, he came into my clinic walking in on his own power and that patient continued to do well for a really long time. So we completely pulled this patient away from the jaws of death and radically altered his life. We have many, many other examples that are similar to that, where we've really changed a patient based upon their genetic profile. So if we go back decades, what we used to do is give patients the most toxic therapies. We used to give patients chemotherapy and give multiple drugs and patients suffered from side effects and didn't really gain much benefit. What we're seeing now more and more is our ability to tailor therapy to the individual patient. And that tailoring process is premised on specific features of the individual patient. And that's precision oncology. Ultimately, what we want is to be able to take the medication off the shelf, write a prescription and give it to the patient without having to do the clinical trial. But to get to that point, where it's part of routine care, we need to do the research. And without the funding and all of the research that come with, resources that come with it, we won't ever get to that point. So the best place to put your money is the Prostate Cancer Foundation. It's for several reasons. One, is that the money goes to research. Okay, that's critical. Two, they know who's doing the research. So they're not gonna necessarily duplicate research. They know who's doing good research and they can funnel the money to the right people who are doing the cutting edge research.